All right, beware corporate CEOs who take matters into their own hands and respond to uh, political developments within certain states, as did uh, Major League uh, Baseball right now when it moved the site of the, uh, the uh, All-Star game uh, to Colorado to protest what was going on with the Georgia vote. Uh, other CEOs from Delta to Coca-Cola have weighed in. Harvey Golub is here, the retired American Express CEO, former AIG chairman. He wrote a fascinating piece in today's Wall Street Journal, essentially saying, be careful what you wish for. Um, Harvey, you are, you have great respect for all of these men and women who run these massive conglomerates, but you said uh, that it can come back to boomerang on them. You, you mentioned in the end, there's no limiting principle to this problem. If business heads can be pressured to comment on issues unrelated to their businesses, they will be compelled to weigh in on more current events and uh, be in a position of having no re meaning to refuse. In other words, they'll be tested on it time and again. So what do you recommend they do? What I recommend is what I said in the article, and that is not get involved in a public way in issues that are political in nature, divisive, and unrelated to their businesses. If they, stay, if they stay out of it, then they can stay out of the next one. If they get involved in some fashion, they inevitably will be forced to comment on a whole range of issues, and refusal to do so uh, will engage the uh, woke warriors. And then what happens, Arby, if you think about it, is that whatever their position, we live in a day and age where uh, individuals themselves, whether they're investors or, in this case, residents of Georgia, um, very, very woke, in-your-face groups who are saying, uh, you have got to speak out against this, uh, and, and it puts further pressure on them, doesn't it? So how do they respond to that? They have to say, if it doesn't relate to my business, I'm not going to comment publicly. This is a political matter, and it's to be decided in political means. If you don't like a particular action, then take it to the voting booth. But it's not the role of my business to comment on political issues. It, Neil, if, if you start, you can't stop. You know, do, do a, a, a sort of mental test. Suppose there was a woke group from the right that uh, doesn't like uh, abortion laws that allow abortions in the third trimester. And they started to, uh, to pressure CEOs in New York and Illinois to come out against it. There's no doubt in my mind that those CEOs would say, this is not my business, I'm not going to say anything. But once you start, it, there's no principle that limits where you stop. And to believe that the woke warriors will impose a reasonable discipline and exercise reasonable requests is is the height of um, uh, of uh, fantasy? You know, Harvey, shouldn't they run this by their boards though before they do so? In a lot of cases, uh, I saw the case of Major League Baseball that the baseball commissioner acted unilaterally, and the other owners just simply said, oh, uh, "Well, I guess we're not playing the All Star game." You know, in Atlanta, and I could extend it even to the CEOs of Delta and Coke who weighed in before even bouncing it off their boards. Aren't they obligated to do that? I, I don't know whether they did or not. I have no particular knowledge of that, Neil. Um, I, I would have uh, consulted my board on that. I think, I think that, that is a major change in how CEOs operate and how they communicate with the public and the positions they take. And, and that is something that ought to have been discussed at the board. At least I would have done that. I, I don't know what factors they considered and, and whether or not they, they took that step or not. You know, I mean, I'm not here to debate the pros and cons of the Georgia law. I, I think it's a huge leap, however, to call it Jim Crow or overtly racist. And I think what happens is, as long as people keep repeating that uh, without looking into the details of the law, whether you like it or not, whether it's your cup of tea or not, uh, but you keep saying this, then people believe this. But when even The Washington Post calls out the president for some comments he made that it was Jim Crow, that it was overtly racist, and gives him four Pinocchios for saying that, um, it doesn't seem to matter. The facts don't seem to matter. It generates its own emotional wave uh, that there's no stopping it. Yeah, it, does, it really doesn't seem to matter. 
Um, I, I read most of the, of the Georgia law. I think I understand it. And as I said in my, my op-ed piece, I, I, have the, I, do, I have the personal point of view that the law uh, reaches a reasonable balance between ease of voting and security of the vote. I think it's a reasonable balance. Others may disagree with that, but that's, that, that was my point of view. And I put it in the article simply to indicate that that is what I thought, but was unrelated to my comment about CEO actions. The accusations of, of racism in the world culture um, predominate and, and, and get all of the press. And the CEOs that get caught up in it, I think, will ultimately regret it. Uh, it is something they should stay away from. It is not germane to their business. You know, Mitch McConnell famously said, you know, Republicans buy Coca-Cola, Republicans fly Delta, um, and that the CEOs don't appreciate the magnitude of the reverse um, effect it has, to, to, to the point that you just made. But it also talks about a backlash for a backlash. You talk about um, baseball's relationships with the Cuba and China, for example. Uh, you talk about how it generated calls to boycott two major Atlanta-based companies. This won't be the end of the backlash. So at face value from your column, this doesn't end here. It's only going to fester from here. Sure. Because when, when you take a position like that, the, the, the most um, negative charge that can be made against you is that you're being a hypocrite, that you're taking a position for political reasons, not for moral reasons. And so um, any examples that would indicate actions counter to your statements will be, will be magnified and, and reverberate. And then you'll have to respond to those. So it, it's a never it's a never ending process. I, and I think, well, thank you. I think the, Go ahead, finish that. I, I was just saying, I, I think CEOs ought to, ought to stay away from it. There are political matters in which they should talk when they affect their businesses, but these are not those. Got it. Got it. Harvey, thank you very, very much. Uh, we should be thinking about all this because there are implications for every decision and an opposite reaction sometimes than what the, uh, the intentions were originally. Very good seeing you again, Harvey. Much appreciated.